Hello there, I'm Gavin Cohen, I'm Senior Build Manager. We've had um, an incident where we've had batteries being charged in the um, charger bank and overnight on um, Wednesday night, one of the batteries evidently was obviously caught fire and the armor guards did what it needed to do, the fire suppressants kicked in, suppressed the fire. The first thing we knew about it was when we came in and opened the site yesterday morning and the alarm was going off. Um, we opened the unit to find out that the, you know, this had been a fire, the batteries have um, been extinguished and um, yeah, there's no further risk. I mean, had the um, we normally traditional locker system been in the canteen or on site, the consequences could be completely different. I mean, had it been in the canteen, you know, the, the fire could have been a severe fire that could have, um, you know, spread to the offices and, and, and further. Obviously, the containers are caught fire, so there would be a huge cost involved in that and a huge delay as well. We probably, you know, a number of weeks we would have been out of action and site would probably have to shut without a doubt, um, and that would have had a huge implication to the contract costs and obviously program as well. We've um, looked at various alternatives to um, store our batteries off the back of some incidents that have happened on various sites throughout the UK and Armour Guard was recommended by our safety team as a product to use so we trialled it. How the system works basically, um, it's got a heat detector in each individual locker. In this instance, obviously the, the fire started in one locker, it's triggered off the fire suppression unit and the alarm and the, only the affected um, locker is at the fire suppression um, discharged into the unit so the fire doesn't spread to any of the other lockers um, so upon successful testing of any of the other equipment most of the batteries or any other equipment should be you know serviceable yeah obviously if the fire had spread to other compartments and damaged other batteries there would be a higher cost and significant sort of um, inconvenience for other contractors as well so the fact that the um, fire is contained to one unit is um, very helpful yeah, so far the experience with Armour Guard has been very good. Um, from first purchasing the unit, the support and the support we've had obviously off the back of the incident, the fire has been you know, very, very good and yeah, very impressed. For those who haven't invested in a Vault Hub, um, I think you know, you're at, at quite a risk. I mean, it's quite often you've seen in the past where people store batteries just on the floor in canteens or in the offices. That's obviously a very significant risk. And even with just a normal standard proprietary sort of battery banks, I think you know, that of what we've seen here, put yourself at great risk of a fire and um, you know quite a, potentially quite a severe incident.